Hi hookers, welcome to my channel and welcome back to my channel. You guys know the drill with that as always and if you guys have not seen any of my videos and are new to my channel, what's up? I'm Lila. Make sure you guys are subscribed down below before even continuing to watch this video. I know it's been a week since I posted my most recent video, which if you guys have not seen it, I had a very transphobic experience that I chose to open up and talk to you guys about that has caused a lot of issues and a lot of stir up in my life and other people's lives. And so I just wanted to come on here and kind of talk to you guys about the past week and what I have been going through and what has been going on. Because as always, I have to keep you guys updated. I'm always going to tell you guys the tea and the truth and facts. And so yeah, if you guys want to see that, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and keep on watching. So I honestly wasn't even going to film this video, but after a little discussion, I chose to go ahead and do it because there's still so much that I want to talk about so much that has happened and it's not even the fact that like I want like views because this could literally get five views and I wouldn't care it's literally just about educating people about the transgender community and what transgender people go through and that was the main point of it all and the past week has been so insane like it's been my first ever like a like attention in any sort of way but mostly negative not even from like Instagram comments or YouTube comments because like I literally don't even care about that stuff but just all the like drama and problems that it's caused I was not expecting in any way and so honestly just to get right into it I want to start off with something that is like the most important kind of part of the story and like the reason that I'm filming this because I've gotten so many questions about this for those of you who do not know Tana Mojo is my manager I am her client for those of you who do not know Jake Paul is kind of like the leader of team 10 which is the house I got kicked out of and Jake Paul and Tana Mojo are engaged and doing their thing and so that is why it has caused so many problems and such a bigger stir up than I really even like thought about before I posted the video or when it was happening I kind of just like did what I wanted to do and like didn't really think about like what effects it could have on like anybody else you guys know me I'm always gonna be upfront with you guys tell you guys the facts tell you guys the truth whether it was a homeless man on the side of the street or somebody who lives at the team 10 house I'm gonna be upfront real and honest with you guys always if it can help one person out there to avoid this situation that's like the point of the video so since the video there has been so much that has been said by my best friends and Tana and Jordan and just so many people and so it's been so overwhelming because all these people that I love so much are telling me so many different things in my ear and like I just have a full on stroke and like don't even know what to say, don't even know what to do, don't even know what to like think. So it has just been so frustrating and confusing and I'm just like, oh my god, like I'm over it. Like it wasn't even supposed to upset anybody. It was literally just to tell people that this world is full of transphobic people and it has to stop. And so to have a little That's So Raven moment with you guys, if I take you guys back like a month, that is when I signed with Tana Mojo as my manager, as her client. Then about two weeks later is when her and Jake got engaged. And then literally a week after that is when her birthday weekend was and the weekend that I got kicked out of the Team 10 house for being trans. So literally my luck, it just could like could not have happened at such a worse timing before VidCon, before like their engagement and her birthday and her birthday party and like just everything happening at once I'm just like oh my god and right when the whole incident happened the first thing I thought of even doing was texting and calling her so literally when I was still in their driveway I was texting Tana telling her what had happened because that was like oh my god like what do I do like I need your opinion now I need like what like what do I do that night obviously I filmed a video of my own choice and the next day I was on a conference call with team 10 managers I was just being told that if I like decide to post anything that I'm gonna ruin everybody who lives their life and there's a famous child who lives there and like his future is gonna be over and it's like they were trying to almost like manipulate me into like not telling my truth and not telling my story and not like telling the like world kind of like what I personally was upset about and what I personally like went through so that to me was like why are you guys trying to hide this why can't you just like come up front and say sorry like ask how I am fire the person that caused this incident and then move on like I'm not trying I'm not literally like I know you guys think like whatever like Lila's dramatic but it never once was for views never once was for attention because bitch I did not think I would be waking up at 8am to be on the phone with like CBS like I literally was just like I need to film this video I need to tell everybody what happened like this is like so insane that I even experienced this and I know so many people experience this but worse and while I was on the phone with them I was literally like editing the video like I knew I was gonna post it and then 
maybe 60 seconds after I hang up, I get a call from the person who had said those transphobic comments at the house saying that he was so sorry, but he just thought that girls were coming. And so I'm like, you're being forced to apologize and still kind of like being transphobic. Like, so I genuinely was like, you're wasting your time, boo. Like, thanks for the apology. But like, I hope you're just like educated at some point because like the way you treated us was disgusting, period, end of story. And so after that, I kind of was just sitting there. And then my best friend, Romy, was like, Lila, you're on drama alert. And so I'm like, what do you mean? Like, literally, I haven't even posted the video yet. I was getting so many people, like, texting me saying, I'm so sorry, like, for the comments. Like, and if you go to the comments of any video that this was about, any drama page, any, my video, my Instagram, it's all hate comments. It's all, like, you guys are men dressed up in dresses. Nobody wants that. Kill yourselves. You guys are guys. Like, I'm not even going to read them out loud because, personally, I just don't waste my time reading negative shit. And two, I don't care. And three, why would I like waste my time reading hate comments? This night was the night of Tana Mojo's birthday party. And I knew personally that I didn't want anybody to come up to me and try and like manipulate me or harass me into not posting my truth. And so for those next like four hours, bitch, I sat there with my fake nails editing away, making sure that this video was going to be posted as soon as it could possibly be posted. Mm, maybe like five seconds after it was posted, I get text on text, literally getting text bombs like from the Team 10 management telling me that if I don't delete the video within 10 minutes, they're going to have to get their legal team involved. And so of course I didn't respond like, bitch, I'm drinking. And then five minutes later, I get another one saying that it's illegal in the state of California to do what I did. Another whole paragraph telling me that I'm going to be in jail for a year and that their legal team's going to be in contact with me. And like, I just hearted the message. So I was like, okay, so not only was I like tried to make to feel bad to not post it. Now I'm getting threatened to be put behind bars for literally telling my story. I'm just like, like what? This is literally not real life. So the day that I posted the video obviously was Tana's birthday party and there was a huge incident there that I really want to speak on and really want to talk about but at this point I just feel like I shouldn't because it's not my place but pretty much I was like almost forced to leave the premises. So then the next day my whole worry and thought process literally wasn't about the video, wasn't about anybody on Team 10, wasn't about me, wasn't about my friends, literally was the fact that like I caused so much dilemma and drama in like two people's lives that like has stood up for me and like cared for me so much and that's Tana and Jordan and so my main focus was like okay how do I fix this because like obviously it couldn't have been worse timing with her and Jake and then like I just like knew I fucked up and wanted to fix it. I was calling Tana and texting Tana, telling her that like I didn't want this to be like a dramatic thing. I literally just wanted to like tell people my story and she was like, no, I totally understand. Like I think we can turn this into a positive like situation in a positive light and like educate people in general. I'm like, bitch, that's exactly what I'm saying. That whole day and literally even for like the past whole week, I've just been trying to like fix everything and hear everybody's thoughts and all of that. And then on like Sunday or Monday or something, I don't know, it's all kind of just been like one big black out. Team 10 released their official statement saying that they're running an internal investigation, which like honestly, not even being petty, just like, I feel like anybody in their right mind would think this. What's there to internally investigate? Like if you watch my video, along with everybody else who's watched my video, you would see video footage that you can't face to and like it's literally video footage of somebody telling me to like leave the house because we're not real girls. So it's like there wasn't anything to investigate. It could have just been so easily resolved at the very start and it was dragged on to this huge long thing full of more transphobic comments and more hate comments and all this that like genuinely just could have been like not there and I feel like one of like the most remarkable which like wait hello I didn't even know I knew that word but like one of, like the biggest things that I'm taking from this whole situation is that if you go to my YouTube video if you go to any of my Instagrams if you go to any drama channels video about the situation any drama channels post about the situation it's all comments literally saying they didn't want men there like good for team 10 clapping for team 10 you guys aren't chicks like you guys are men like kill yourselves literally like the nastiest of comments which like I'm a bad bitch you can't like kill me you can't phase me period I just find it so disgusting that 90 literally over 90% there's like 9,000 thumbs down on my video and like 1,000 thumbs up like 90% of people are like wasting their time sitting there commenting saying that like us being transgender is wrong That's my goal is to lower that percentage and make that like go away because it's sickening and it's literally wrong And I feel like obviously I don't have this like huge millions of people platform But I have somewhat of something to talk to you guys and 
educate people and like if you guys watch my original video I literally state like three different times that it's not even about team 10 it's not even about Jake Paul it's literally just the situation and what really happened my goal was never to cancel anybody was never to read anybody to filth was never to start all this drama it's literally just to show you guys that like this is what transgender people deal with all the time and this is what I've dealt with so many times whether it's at the, a club whether it's at a party whether it's a guy asking me to go get dinner and then he's like oh you used to be a boy it's like that's like what I want to educate people on and it's the fact that so many transgender people literally kill themselves and like choose to end their life because so many people are just like showing hatred and like trying to tell them that them being themselves is wrong and that is what needs to stop literally if you look on Google and look up transgender like deaths in the past few years there's like on average like 30 deaths per year whether people are stabbed murdered like kidnapped just like beaten and it's so disgusting to think that like me just like being myself in like any public like any public situation somebody can see me and be like oh that used to be a boy and like want to take violence to like get rid of me like I'm like some fucking creature and whether it was at team 10 or on the side of the road if it takes this situation to bring this topic up for discussion and make it be talked about that is what I want and that is what needed to happen because clearly the 4,000 hate comments or 8,000 hate comments on videos is an issue and so moving on from the situation literally team 10 can be the most accepting people in the world whatever this situation is over with now let's move on to the matter of fact trans people are being murdered trans people are discriminated trans people are hated against daily and people choose to wake up every day look in the mirror and cry look in the mirror and harm themselves look in the mirror and do whatever they feel necessary because they're too afraid to sit down and be like oh I was born somebody who I'm not I was born the wrong gender I this isn't who I am I don't want to like be this person but they're too afraid to say anything and live their life how they want to live and I personally have come too motherfucking far to let anybody try and hurt me or try to let anybody discriminate against me because even going through this situation that was so hurtful it never made me feel like any less of a woman never made me feel like any less of a girl never made me feel like any less of a boss ass lady I'm me and I've come so far and you can think whatever you want to think about me or transgender people but the matter of the fact is trans people are people trans women are women trans men are men like me coming so far within my transition I know how hard it is to like wear that wig wear that makeup wear your padding wear a bra and like try and just be as feminine as you can and show people like how you're feeling internally but when you're clocked and when you're said that's a boy or that used to be a boy or that's not a girl it's so degrading and hurtful because you're like why did I have I come this far why have I gone through literally blood sweat tears and a whole bank account and a half to get to where I am for somebody who doesn't even know me or my story to try and bring me down so I feel like I need to honestly make a whole separate video talking about what it's really like being transgender and what just like more about that and educating people and talking to people who are transphobic and literally just educating people because that is so important to me but I just wanted to talk about all this because my head is literally about to fucking explode from this whole past week and I don't even know if I hit every pointer because I'm such a scatterbrain ass bitch and I know I wasn't really myself in this video because I just wanted to say so many things and we are moving on because bitch life is too short and I just want to let you guys know to make sure that I am always open arms to listen and vent to and talk to you are never motherfucking alone you are always valid you are always beautiful I just think that's the most important thing is to realize that you are the baddest bitch no matter what anybody else is saying because if anyone's speaking negativity about you or to you they're obviously having their own insecurities to worry about so as always until next you guys stay true